everybody, welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. In our last episode, Building an EVA Foam Ray Gun Part 2, we finished building the back two thirds of our ray gun. Um, we looked at using EVA foam dowels for wrapping around creating our coil section. We saw using four pieces of heat-shaped foam to build our back portion of our body and we saw the multiple pieces we used for the handle and then we saw some detail work on there. Turned out perfect, exactly how we wanted. The build is awesome. Now in tonight's episode, making an EVA foam ray gun part three, we're going to take our finished prop, we're going to seal it with our black plastic dip so it's ready to paint, then we're going to bust out our um, acrylic paints. We're going to paint it up. We're going to weather it. We're going to make it look a little dirty and we're even going to hit it with a little bit of rust starting to form like we saw back when we did the night helmet. So if you're ready to hit it, let's make something. Okay, we're out back by the spray booth. Uh, we've been out here before. We're going to coat our ray gun with our Plasti Dip and then it's going to be ready to paint. So before we start, as we always talk about, do not spray even outside without your respirator. Ooh, look at that. That is what a nice Plasti Dip coated prop looks like. Can't see any more of the silver Sharpie lines. Can't see any of the white quick seal that we use to fill in. Boy, that is nice. Very cool. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to begin taping parts of this off. Uh, we're gonna start by painting the red first. So we're gonna tape off some of the silver parts where the red is gonna meet up with so we don't get it on there. So we'll take our time. We'll take some different thicknesses of modeling tape Whatever works for the area, you'll see as we go through it, and we'll tape off, and we'll begin painting. Okay, we've begun taping off right around the coils, and we're using regular blue painter's tape, and you can use your little plastic spatula or anything that you can get your hands on that you can use to kind of just push that down in the crevice like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just like that. There we go. Perfectly masked off. Very easy. Just take your time. Okay, there we go. We have the trigger, the back coils, the front coils, and the two metal details taped off. Now we can begin painting with our red paint. Okay, we're going to use silver for the metal pieces. We're going to use red for the body. We're going to come in with brown to weather it and age it. And then we're gonna come in with just little pieces of orange to create some rust. And that's it. Four colors and you can do the whole thing. And if you notice, as we've seen before, because the sponge won't hit in the little crevices, it leaves a natural like dark ring that adds that little bit of a dirty aged feel around it. Okay, there we go. We covered the whole thing with red. Now we didn't completely fill it in in spots. We wanted it a lot completely covered, just a little bit thin, just so it looks like the red's a little oxidized and kind of worn off. That's it, now we're gonna unpeel our tape. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Look at that. Wow, we could really go crazy and we could leave all the, the coils black. That could be kind of cool too. We could leave them black and we could go in with a dry brush and we could hit it with silver scratches so it looks like metal that's been painted black and there's been some scratch marks off of it. Ooh, I'm tempted to do that. Now you know what, we'll stick with the plan. We'll make these silver and we'll distress them and make them look weathered and a little bit rusty. So we're gonna do the back end silver 
We're gonna do the trigger silver, the coil silver, and the front end silver. Okay, now we're gonna get our tiny little brush out. We're just gonna hit a couple little spots that we can't really reach with the sponge. Down here behind the trigger. That might be the only spots we need it. Mm, I think so. And notice because we didn't completely cover it, we left some areas a little bit thin where you can kind of see the black plastic dip a little bit through it. It just gives it that look like some of it's oxidizing a little bit. Nice, very cool. Okay, now we're going to tape off for painting our silver. We're going to tape off around this edge to cover the red here, here, and here, so that we can paint this silver and this silver, and we'll also do the trigger and the back end silver. Okay, there you go. We have our ray gun taped off so we can paint our silver on the front end and in the center and on the back end. And then after we do that, we'll peel this part off and we'll hit the trigger real quick. So there we go, we're taped off, we're ready to go. Time to get out a small piece of cardboard and our silver paint and hit it. And as you can tell, the sponge does not go down in between the coils, so it's going to leave that nice, natural dirt in the crevices sort of a feel. See that? Very nice. Very natural, very easy. There we go, look at that. Now we'll do the front part. Beautiful. Got all of our silver on in the back end. Now we'll take our tape off and we'll paint the trigger. <laughs> Very nice. Now we will paint the trigger, our two little buttons, and our two details. Okay, now we'll use our small brush and we'll get in down here. Nice. To get inside of these little crevices, we used our small brush. We got some paint on it and we dried it off real good so it wasn't very wet at all. And we got it in there just to get some silver in there and leave some of the black so it looks like it's kind of dirty in there. Now if you notice, there's a couple little places right here where some silver got on the red, right here and right here. But we'll just use our little brush. We'll get our red out, we'll touch it up and we'll be all set. Trigger guard like that, we'll just cover it up. And we'll rub it around. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna get out our real brown and we're going to start to dirty up our ray gun. Okay, so we get the whole brush covered, but then we rub most of it off. We want it pretty dry. Just enough to start dirtying it up. Look at that. Wow, very cool. Just enough for some dirty coils.
That is a weathered ray gun. Look at how tight that looks. Bam! When we had it built, it was super tight. Then when we coated it with Plasti Dip, bam, it went up a level. Then when we started hitting all the colors on there, pow, even higher. And now, good grief, check that out. Dirty all over the place. Definitely looks like something that's been laying in a junkyard for a while, getting all dirty. Next, we're going to do a little bit of orange. Just gonna hit a couple little select spots around here. Um, just to make it look like some rust is starting to form. Just a couple little tiny places. Oh man, is that cool. Alright, look at that. Just a little bit of orange in there and a tiny little bit on the circle right there and that's just enough to start to pull out Okay, there we go. Little subtle hints of orange in some spots. A little bit there, there, a little bit around the edge, just tiny bits in here. We've got a little bit on the handle, some on the trigger. It's just subtle enough to where it starts to pick up a little bit of orange inside the brown where it starts to look like rust, turning rusty. <laughs> right on. This is cool. This turned out so great. Look at that. Um, looks weathered. Looks a little dirty. This is super cool. And if you followed along with us during the build, you saw that every technique we used in building was easy. You can do this. Um, everything fit perfectly, worked out perfectly, very easy. And uh, in tonight's episode, making an EVA foam ray gun, Part three, you saw that the techniques we used for painting it are just as easy. Same as it was with the night helmet. You can do this, this is not a problem. Um, turned out great. So, that concludes making an EVA foam ray gun. Part three, hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, give us a like, um, share us with a friend, and subscribe to this channel so that together we can go step by step through a lot of super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. Thanks for coming. <laughs> See you next time.